she was the only one. Um, and I don't remember, she was there when I got there. So I don't know much about how she was created, but Fran Brill was Prairie Dawn <laughs> and vice versa. Um, and she didn't have uh, the uh, you know obsessive qualities that the male characters had. You know, back then there were certain things you you do you didn't want your female characters make to make mistakes. You know, you know you, there were certain things that y you had to be really careful because you wanted to pr portray a positive female image. That was the idea. And we've come so far. I mean, you think about Amy Poehler and uh, you know, all the female comedians that are, are out there now that are, that are able to be foolish and say crazy things and you know, be foul-mouthed or whatever it is. You could not do that with those characters. So that was one. The other thing was there were not a lot of female puppeteers back then. And you didn't want to have men doing falsetto voices. So there's just something false, falsetto, <laughs> false about that. So um, we only had Prairie. Um, and I'm trying to remember, there was another character that we created later on um, when we had a little bit more leeway. And I can't remember her name now, but I wrote a, a script for this female character, I don't remember the name, in which she was playing with her doll and she pulled the head off and didn't get upset. <laughs> you know, ah, and then she put it back on, hmm, and then she pulled it off again. You know, and uh, I don't remember what the whole sketch was, but it bothered the woman writers. <laughs> And I said, why? <laughs> Are you saying that, you know, the f females don't have that same kind of, let me see what's going on here to pull things apart and explore. And it was, but this is all in transition. You know, Sesame Street has come from the beginnings of uh, the feminism and women's liberation. And it, it tracks, if you, you know, you can sort of track the cultural movement in this area. Um, and um, the politically correct aspects um, of how to deal with gender, I think hampered us um, and may still hamper the creation of uh, female characters for um, that are gonna do comedy. You can have a sweet female character, nobody minds that. You can have a female character that loves pink. As a matter of fact, if you have a female character nowadays, they have to love pink because that's because it's more market driven now than just inspiration. You know, creating funny, interesting characters. And I think it's a shame. Uh, I think it's limiting. It, it it's not uh, giving young girls the credit they deserve. Uh, not not treating them as they are which are full beings that are interested in all sorts of things and, you know, taking things apart, getting dirty, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, so the, the other character we created was Grungetta, who was Oscar's girlfriend. And uh, that, to me, Grungetta is the only one so far that has edge, you know? She likes the same things he does. She likes trash. Now, little girls might not want to buy a Grungetta puppet, but I'm not sure that's not because she hasn't been used more and allowed to expand and grow.